you've defeated a number of these spider creatures and this horrific, smelly, demonic goat creature, which is now roasting on the fire, creating quite a stench. Um, and you have found uh, the girl, Nemia, um, who is sort of huddling, and you've just recently untied her from the, uh, the ropes that she was bound by, these sort of spidery kind of gray ropes. Yep. Um, so I think last session I mentioned that I tried to carry, like, because I'm not good with my medicine, I don't know, and I didn't even check if they were alive, but in the hopes of maybe reaching the hospital, and at least one of these guards are alive, I'm trying to carry them in bear form, or if the DM lets me, then rather in a mew form. Because I have to go to hospital and maybe we can save some of save some of these guards. But I mean, if you guys want to do something else, well, to quickly answer your question about the form, it's it's yeah, anything that you know has a strength in the size to carry. How many bodies are there? There's like the three. The three. I mean. Yeah. Um. So you know, it's not that huge. Um. You've used one form so far this short rest. Right? Uh, two. I used. Oh, well, that's right. You came out of it. Yeah, I came out of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you went back into it. So this is your second one. So, oh, I see. So, yeah, okay. So, I mean, you just barely went into that second form. <laughs> barely. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> went into that second form. So if you wanted to say you wanted to do a different form, that's fine, too. It's, it's totally up to you. Uh, I mean, I'm poisoned. So, Either yeah. Way. Sure. I'm pretty sure I can carry them as a bear, even if I'm poisoned. It just... Uh, yeah. I don't know what the others want to do, but I'm barely... Uh, uh, staggering towards where I remember the hospital was with these three tiefling guards dead or unconscious I don't know, on my back uh, Last time we tried to investigate this demonic uh, like uh, thingy, is a goat and we kind of failed to investigate it properly should we try this again or can we try this again or not? Jim? Um I think you've, you've, you've checked it out as best you could. Um, I think what you determined is that none of you really have a, a clear idea of exactly what it is, um, but you, you all get the sense that it's, you know, quite alien for these parts um, and, um, you know, in some senses, almost unnatural. Um, it doesn't have any equipment or anything like that on it, but that was basically all you were able to, de to determine about. And we are good to go, I guess. Everybody's okay with it? Yeah. Mm, you're trying to loot the demon lord? Or some... No? Okay. I see, well, I tried that last time as well. And I, I mean, that's fine. Really, it's not really carrying anything. It's... Yeah. Uh, uh, the uh, out. I mean, I guess the hospital is kind of on the way to the inn. Yeah. What we're doing is, um, I, I, I want to ask, I think, uh, I think Andrea has um, stepped away maybe to take care of his daughter, but I want to find out what he's doing about the yeah, girl yeah. standing next to. But Definitely. really quickly, in the meantime, let me take you back to the map so you can see a picture of where you are, and then we'll come back yeah. to this one in a second. One moment. Let's quickly move. Let me know when you guys can see it. We can see it. Okay. Yeah. So you see where you are now, that, that X with the party marker on it. That's where you are now. Yep. The uh, building where the others were, were uh, keeping watch is, is about um, a block and a half away. That other little red X in the bottom is where you first encountered those other tieflings. Mm. And the hospital is at the city center. Like here somewhere. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. And the inn is here, oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Mm. It's okay, we can split. I will bring the kid to the hotel and then I will reach you at the hospital. All right, the bear nods. Do you, do you mind if we keep it? I mean, you can certainly do that if that's what your real desire is, but you know, this is probably just a, a role-playing dialogue thing. So maybe we just stick it together and 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it kind of a role playing thing. I mean, yeah. we can, if there is no danger, we can assume uh, we did both things, right? Sure. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. Man. Okay. So you guys uh, split up, and who's going with the bear to the hospital? Leonor is going with the bear. Sorry, I've lost my map where you're supposed to be. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, hold on. Let me be back. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, so let's quickly, before we take off, Molly, what are you doing with the girl? So I think I already talked with her last time. And I told her, uh, I, I, I called her by her name and I said, like, are you... Um, so I wrote it down at a moment. Ten seconds. Uh, are you Namea? Right. And so last time she confirmed that's who she was, and I think that's the it was the extent of the conversation with her. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. basically, I say I'm here to bring you back to your mother. Uh, she 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 gives you a big hug and and says thank you so much. I I, I was looking for my mother. I, we were we had just gotten here and 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 I got lost and and she was nowhere and and I, I was wandering around and someone told me maybe she had already left the city I was so scared they, they told me that that everyone leaves from the south gate I tried to follow down there this this man he was this horseman you know a centaur and, and he had these other guys with him and I, they, I, I, I didn't like them, so I ran away, and I was hiding for a long time, but I got hungry, and, and so I came out, and these, these, these things, these spider things, they grabbed me and tied me up and, and brought me here, and then there was fighting. I was so scared. Next time, please stay with your mother. It's dangerous out here. And may I ask you a question? Yes. Your pendant is very similar to mine. You receive it from a fairy, is that right? She, she looks at, at your pendant uh, for the first time, noticing in her eyes go wide and says, but that's just like Aragold's pendant. Yeah, this one. Oh, that's so nice. I, 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 I think you should have this as, as thank you for, for, for rescuing me. And she holds out the pendant. Aragold would want you to have it. She was a hero too. Aragold? Aragold, the fairy. She she saved us in the woods uh, when we were coming here from from when we were running for so long. Thank you for this. I will accept it. And I take the pendant. And okay. then I I just bring her to her mother and then reach the party after it. Okay. So let's switch then um, to whoever is going to the hospital. Okay, you'll have to imagine it's night time. And you're not here. Who? So who all is here? Um, here. Everybody else. The, yeah, sounds okay. good. Okay. And you see, uh, Sotinos there. He's he's taking care of patients. He he looks incredibly tired, um, but he's uh, he's still working. And uh, he looks up and notices as you come in and. And waves and and then sees the bear, and he sort of does a double take. But you know he's seen it all, so he doesn't seem particularly worried about it. Uh, but he does see the bodies draped over the bear's back, and he comes trotting over uh, to to see what all of this is about. The bear sits on the ground. Um, and Sotinus uh, looks to uh, Eleanor and um, Elvin and says, uh, 
You brought a bear with you. He seems quite well trained. Well, that bear is actually our friend. Uh, you met him earlier, I believe. Or maybe you can't recognize him right now. Oh, the one with the beard. Uh, now I recognize the resemblance. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's just a little bit changing his form. Just for fun. Oh, there we go. Cool. Um, wow, fascinating. I, I, I imagine that must have some uh, uses. Uh, well, carrying body seems to be one. Uh, what happened? Well, I guess we tell him about what happened to us, and we might as well ask him if he knows about these uh, goat, uh, the goat demon, or whatever the spider-like creatures, or anything. Goat demon, spider creatures. I, I, I don't know. I've, I've heard horrible stories, especially from people coming from the north, uh, that that have told stories like this. Um, I, I've not seen anything like that, but uh, but I've been here. For for you know a fairly long time now, um, it, but it sounds a lot like what I'm hearing from from the refugees that are coming from the north. Exactly, did you hear from them? Uh, just stories, stories about you know horrible creatures that have uh, destroyed their villages and killed their family members and caused them to flee to the south, um, and they're stopping here along the way uh, hoping to get further south and further away from the terror that is plaguing further to the north so that's the reason people were fleeing from the north in the first place well, that's what i'm hearing They're just terrible stories of of villages uh, at first they, they say that uh it starts with just a few people disappearing and then you know, more people start to disappear, and then there are sightings of, of creatures like this that that start to happen, and then before long, the, the villages are overrun with with creatures, and everybody is forced to flee. Mm. Maybe we should just rest for the night. Aren't we tired? Yeah, sure, we should rest here, but I yeah, might as well ask him if he knows anything else about it, like where these creatures came from, or if he ever saw somebody in this town who saw them before. That's beside us, of course. Mm, he might be busy and untied himself uh, after taking care of all those uh, wounded people. Oh, well, I guess it's up to you guys. Uh, I'd feel more confident to to replenish all my uh, uh, spells and stuff. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask him, uh, Doctor, can we use a few beds if you have some empty beds where we can just sleep a little bit, or rest a little bit? I'm asking Doctor Sotinas. Sotinas sort of looks and says, "You know, this is this is a hospital. We we have to keep these beds for injured." I thought I thought that you had. Uh, that you're staying at the inn, at the Nymph's Rest, no? We have injured people, like, I, I just, uh, I need one more health, just not that, like, a hurt or anything. Is, uh, are you guys hurt? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Who's hurt here? We're okay, but we could do with a long rest. Okay, uh, last time he healed uh, us for, uh, I don't remember, uh, 1d8 or 1d6, something like that. You can use that. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, last time when we were in the hospital, uh, he, like, uh, when we were wounded, he, like, tended our wounds and we rolled to heal something, so, I think. So, so last time you took out some healing potions um, be, because you had rescued those refugees, um, and he mentioned that most of his medical supplies were had been stolen recently, but he had just a little bit left, and so he was he was helping you at that time with, with healing potions. It wasn't just sort of magic. Hey, so he, he's running out of supplies. So I assume he can do that many times, I guess. You could ask him, but, but that, that's what happened last time, just to remind you. Hmm. I'll, so just, yeah. I'll get out of my bear form in front of him. <laughs> oh my God. He goes, wow. Here he goes. Uh, do doctor, uh, 
um, I mean, I don't feel so good, but uh, I'm also not uh, a doctor like yourself. Uh, would you mind look, looking at these three, three gentlemen here that I brought? Uh, I'm not sure if they're dead or alive. Oh my goodness! Yes, of course. I I I was distracted. You see, I'm so tired these days. Yes, he, I know. He I'll help you, you, but I'm terrible at medicine. And sort of looks at you and says, "Yeah, you you don't look good. <laughs> You've got boils, you know, and pustules all over your face, and you know every, every part of exposed skin. And <laughs> you, you look like a real mess." Um, and he says, "Well, well, give me just a moment. Let me look at these these uh, soldiers first. And he calls his assistant. So there are three of them. And after after a couple of moments, he says, "This one is 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 uh, barely alive, but but still it could potentially be safe. We'll take him to the back." Oh, we, thank Mother Nature. We may have to. He, he may not keep necessarily all of his parts, but we'll we'll, we'll try to try to keep him breathing. Yes. Um, he takes his assistant takes that one soldier to the back room, and uh, he calls another assistant to take the bodies away as well. Oh. All right. Um, he then turns to you and says, "What what happened to you? You look absolutely terrible." I, I don't know if there's anything I can do for you, but you definitely look like you, you need help. Yes, uh, I'll be fine, Doctor. Um, as long as, as that soldier survives, I'll be fine. It's just, uh, yeah, uh, we got into a little uh, physical argument with, uh, like, uh, and I tried to describe to him, like, uh, demonic goat man and some spider man creatures yeah. that uh, even are already yeah, they already they described them as well okay so you get further description it says yeah that's it's it's horrible i again you know i've heard these stories from from the refugees but they're, they're all a little bit different and and they're none of them are very clear all these people are very frightened and and oh they do doctor they smell terrible Sorry, uh, they smelled terrible. The the goat thing, right? I, yes, I understood that. Yes, I, that's very strange. I, I I don't know. I've not heard that from from other of the stories that I've heard necessarily, but I've heard some horrible things. Uh, so that that condition that you have, yes. I, I wish I could give you some some uh, something to help. But if you have your own way, then then that may be the best. If you don't. The only thing I could recommend, but it's it probably has its own dangers, is that once long ago the uh, the fort, you know, it was a center for uh, for expeditions out of Fort Galwatch to the north and, and other parts of of Gralandar, and they they kept traveling supplies there for for these expeditions, climbing gear, mountain gear, and as well as remedies of sorts and things, uh, you know, various things that people might need for trips. It's possible there might be something there that could help you. Uh, but if you if you have your own way, it would be safer. As I told you the last time you were here, bad things have been happening at the fort. I don't think it's safe. I always tell everybody to stay away from the fort. I understand, Doctor. Thank you very much for your wise advice. I think I'll just try to sleep it off. Oh, by the way, uh, um, and this is like a question to all of us. Have we told the doctor that uh, that Furbolg is... Because he was asking about Bo Bo uh, Borbolg, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't think we told him that we checked up on Borbolg. Have if, it's, if this is sort of a just sort of a, a meta question of what happened, then no, you... you um. The right. chronology was that you, after you talked to Sotinos and he told you the story, then you went back to the inn and then you found um, the other Forboga that told you that, you know, it had met him and um, told you that he had left some some yes. time ago and yes, has not yes. seen since. Okay, well, I just tell the doctor then. Uh, yes, uh, so we met uh, another Forbog, uh, Saro, and he, he said that Borbog has, uh, has left. Port Galwatch currently. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad that you got word of him, and at least that he made it uh, to see Ian Mayer at, at the Nymph's Rest. Uh, that that's that's a good thing. I it worries me a little bit that he uh, he hasn't been seen, but 
you know, he's a uh, a big lad, so I, I guess he'll he'll be fine. Well, if he left on his own too, then uh, it's safe to say that he's fine. Uh, thanks mm -hmm. to you, your treatment. Well, thank uh, you so much for uh, for for checking on that for me. I'm, I'm very grateful. No worries, doctor. But if you excuse us, and I look at all my companions, uh, shall we? Yes. Yeah, sure. Let's go back and rest. Nice. Doctor, you take rest as well. Yes, I, I, I wish I could. My work here is long from, long from done tonight, but thank you and uh, have a good evening. I hope you're, the rest of your evening is, is more an eventful thing than your evening so far. Thank you. All right. Okay, hold on one second. Let me move you guys back to the map. Okay, so you are now, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, you're now sort of here. Yep. So you're gonna go straight back to the Nymph's Rest or? Mm, I see, yeah, that's, I would say so. Um. If we actually walk by this alley, I'm just wondering, like, just take a, a quick peek to the right if the bodies are still there that we slaughtered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you want to go in that direction? I mean, I guess it makes sense to go that way. It's kind of like, that's... I mean, how, how do you guys feel? Yeah, sure, it's on our way back anyway. Uh. Okay, so um, you head that way. It's a not not a long walk um, to get there. You go past this alleyway and you find the spot where you uh, encountered the tieflings before that were um, assaulting uh, the the uh, two nymphs. I think they were, um, and you don't see any sign of bodies, um, and you don't see any sign of even blood on the ground. Interesting. Okay. Being clean. Okay, so there's a cleanup squad, at least. Or some kind of police, I guess. Okay, well, Nymph's Rest it is then. Unless right. something happens on the way. All right. You make it back there uh, without any further events. Um, let me get you your Nymph's Rest. And. Everybody's still up drinking. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. I mean, they are sailors. So, uh, um, yeah, of so let's see. Uh, let's quickly just change over to uh, Andrea for the, like, who's probably at this point down in the cellar. Um, so what is Molly doing? I guess she brings the daughter back to the mother. Yeah, I know nothing else. Really, not much happens there. So you go back down, and, and um, the mother is absolutely ecstatic, super happy, and grateful. And they're both crying and hugging and thanking you, and and they're wishing you well. And they 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 are very happy that you took the pendant. And they say, you know, if you ever encounter Aragold, then uh, please tell us, tell her uh, that that you know we thank her as well. And uh, you know, you are you are a wonderful person. All of your group is is wonderful. Thank you for. Uh, for rescuing me, Mia. I just, I just nod, and then I, I try to reach my team. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me get everybody back on here. Who's not on? Here. I don't have. All the time. I don't have the and everybody else is there. Okay. Um. So everyone else just uh, has arrived, and um. There are, for, for rooms, for sleeping, there's uh, one double room and uh, two single rooms. Yep, that's where you were before. I'll crash at the bed that I crashed at last time. I think it was this one. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. You were there. That was the room. Okay. 
Mm. I say nothing. And I, I, I guess the old man is already sleeping. Oh, I'm already sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember I had a room. Where is my room? Let's go into this room, by the way. I mean, you've seen yeah, people going here and there. Okay, I follow. There's uh, this room here. Um, Elvin is a, is an empty single room, if you want to. Uh, okay, I'm here. Okay. Good, all right. Um, so if that is it, um, you can all uh, take a long rest. Uh, yep. Oh <laughs> God, yes. um, Molly, if you check your journal, you'll see something new there. I saw it, the amulet, oh. right. Thank you. And uh, that is it. You have a good sleep. So you got back there. It's it's probably around two a.m. Um, and uh, so you'll have to do a a full eight hours to get your long rest. So you'll be sleeping late until ten a.m. to get your full eight hours. Oh yeah. Nice. And the dawn breaks with uh, the smell of a very delicious stew coming from the kitchen nearby and uh, noise of sailors drinking in the tavern at 10 a.m. Drinking in the morning? What's that? Drinking in the morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, morning, <laughs> Maybe they haven't stopped. <laughs> um, DM, do I roll for the... Minus oh, yes. So you uh, actually hold on. Is it every? I think it's every 24. I think it's every oh, 24. E, da, 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 da. I think that's what we said. It's every. Let me check here. I think it's yeah, the that. target must repeat the saving throw after every 24 hours that you last. So not, not yet. Um, okay. But, uh, I don't know if you want to do anything different with your spells. Anybody that has spells that we can reorder spells, go ahead and do that before we. Yeah get going. Uh, yeah. and, um, hit dice. How many hit dice did everybody use last time for the short rest to replenish their hit points? Do you remember? I used two. I used Wait. one. No, I used one. I used one. Just one. Basically, yeah. everyone gets one hit die back. So if cool. you use more than one, you're still missing however many of those are, up to three. Okay. Um, but you got, you got one back. Before sleeping, uh, if I can, I used my last two charges of level one spell to heal the sleeping old guy. And huh. Do you, oh, before you sleep, you mean? It's possible, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And yeah. that would be uh, 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 two wounds, level okay. one. This is for the old guy and this is for myself. Okay. So six for the old guy and eight for myself. Yeah. From the long rest, you also recover all of your hit points. Um, so you get 100% of your hit points back, uh, plus one hit die. That yeah, but I, I still I still want to heal. Just, I mean, yeah. yeah. Sure. Just, okay. just because you're kind and considerate. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. He would say thank you if he actually noticed, but... <laughs> <laughs> the pustules are still... You have been touched while you were sleeping all the time. <sighs> Out there. Um, okay, so next morning uh, you're all awake, and uh, what would you like to do? So first things first, when I wake up, I just check my things and dress up slowly and silently. Everything is still there. And once I'm ready, I check if the old man is still sleeping. <laughs> yes. So I get close to his bed and I... I, I forgot the English word. I knock knock on him, basically. Okay, let me roll the perception check. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you say pinch. Oh, you pinch me? Okay. To hit the finger, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what? Uh, is there danger? No, yes. it's morning. What? It's morning. Ah. Okay. Oof. I had a terrible nightmare. 
Uh, uh, okay. And I get outside. Me too, but I think I'll just tell uh, uh, Mori. I'll be there in uh, I don't know a couple of ten minutes. And uh, while that's going on, I'm just gonna ritually cast detect poison and disease on myself. When I see Eleanor, I just nod. Yeah, Eleanor nods back. You can come sit at the table with me. I think the others are still asleep. Yeah. Uh, Molly smiles at you and nods. She's back to the shy mood. Too bad. Sure to get around. All right, um, Elvin, what are you doing? Still sleeping? Um, yeah, no, I, I'm I'm getting ready on uh, stretching myself. On uh, uh, I'm going uh, outside to see if there is any activity. I say hello to uh, two guys that I see here. And uh, Ian Mayer comes out and greets you and, and uh, brings some uh, some breakfast over to the table there. So you can have okay. a nice breakfast brunch outside. Um, so, um, Fervis, I heard that you were doing a, a detect uh, poison and detect disease. Is that right? Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find a spell on compendium detect. Um, or I can just read it, to be honest. Uh, oh, there we go. How do I send it to the chat? Hmm, whatever. So, I basically, you also identify the kind of poison or disease. Ah, I mean, okay. yeah, in 30 feet around me, but I'm just focusing on myself. Sure. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess I kind of learn what the poison description is in the. Sure. In Let me the see if I can get that for you. Before. That's fine. I have it. You have it still. Okay. So you learn what you saw before. So it is disease. It is not a poison. Okay. Um, and. Uh, you know, okay. And then, well, once I'm I'm done with that, so it's like ten minutes, so I don't burn the spell slot. Yep. I'm just gonna uh, my old bones. Uh, sit there. Great. Buon lavoro, Lord. So, um, and I guess I tell the two girls, like, uh, I think we should keep some social distancing for the time being. I don't know if I'm, I'm contagious. Mm. Probably oh. not, but just in case. I look at him and I, with a very flabby voice, I say, Contagious? Uh, you say con contagious? Yeah. Uh, well, according to my, my knowledge, it's not, but who knows? I don't feel so good. I don't want you, you girls, to get it. GM. Yes. Uh, I would like to have a look at the old man and see if I realize what's affecting him. Uh, sure. Um, how would you like dun, to dun, 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 dun. Or I can just tell you exactly what I've learned with the spell that I just cast. Okay, in Sorry, uh, I didn't hear I had a problem. Okay. So wh what can I do, Richard? Oh, uh, well, so I think that um, Purvis sort of explained that, that he's learned from his own investigation um, about the nature of the disease that he has and 
he's explained that to you, or you could exp he could explain it again. If you want to investigate it further, um, just tell me what how you uh, would want to go about doing that. You know, what uh, are you going to look at it from a medical point of view, or from a arcana point of view, or I just want to know if I'm aware he's sick or not. That's oh, I mean, yes, I, I look sick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah boils. Got, so I'm not interested in which kind of six he has, just oh, I see. my character realized that. So if I realize that, yes. uh, without, I mean, I just sleep a few words, what's necessary to cast a spell, and I cast this one. Okay. Um, so you cast a spell. On oh, boom. The, 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 uh, there's a glow that starts to emanate from, from Purvis and it starts spreading across wow. the skin. Wow. And as it spreads, the, the boils start to fade and, and crust over and then disappear entirely. And after a few moments, um, he seems much better. I, in surprise, I fall down off my chair and it's like, oh, wow. What did you do? I, I feel much better. You can I see, like, like after she touched you, her hands are kind of emitting a bit of light, like similar to fire. But it was something that warned you, didn't warn you. Yeah. Whoa. That's amazing. Is that some new school med medicine I didn't know about? She scratches her messy hair and tells you, I'm not entirely sure. I just feel like I'll do this. Whoa. Well, thank you very much. That's, that's awfully kind of you, whatever you did there. You can cure with your touch. I think that uh, you could probably become a doctor with that. She kind of says, no, no, with her head. Okay. Well, anywho, now that we're back on track, what do we want to do today? I still think we should uh, investigate about Ofric. Oh, yes. Actually, when uh, we came here last night with Molly, um, who approached us here? I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to remember the names. Uh, someone approached us and said that we should probably um, find Ofric. I can't remember who that was. Uh, that was actually the um, was it sailor Glover? that that you had played chess with, and he oh, said, "Oh, was it him? That oh, okay." Somebody had come. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, maybe you, you're, you're asking about something different. But when you were in the Nymph's Rest yesterday, um, the chess Guy, I forgot his name. Yeah, um, oh. he, he came up here and said that somebody, uh, one of uh, Solrius's men, had had stopped by and uh, extended an invitation for from Solrius to visit him at his estate sometime at your convenience during this day. Okay, so I, I tell that to Alva, and like, yes, uh, we were actually reminded that we should uh, check out Ulfric. Uh, <laughs> That was um, Silvrius, not not Ofric. Uh, Ofric, sorry, Ofric was um, now I know what you're talking about. That was um, Captain Glover, your captain. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, he he said, "Hey, you know, you guys, um, have, <laughs> what's going on? Have you, have you, yeah, uh, yeah. Have you found Ofric? Yeah. Yes. I thought I remembered Glover. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, I think well, we should talk with Rias anyways because uh, it's a guy. Uh, who disappeared, the, the guy who burned it, the refugee escaped from the burning ship, was trying to tell him a message before he disappeared, and now we know that message as well, so we can inform him that the refugees didn't actually burn that ship, unless he already knows about it. Okay, well then, uh, once we had breakfast, then uh, we're gonna go and find Ulfric. Yeah, shall we start with his house? We may locate first uh, his house and see if it leads us to somewhere, or maybe it's there, actually. Okay. Um, is Ilmer around? Uh, I would like to ask him uh, a few questions, if, uh, just uh, if he knows where Ofric's house is. Probably yeah, knows. he's just inside there at the bar. 
Okay, so I, I just head to the bar and uh, when he looks uh, like he's not too busy, I'm asking him, do you know where Ofric's house is? Uh, we have uh, an errand to do there. And uh, Amar looks up, he, he always looks busy. He's, he's like the only one there who's feeding and, and giving drinks to all of these men, plus the people in the basement. But but he smiles and he's, he's always very good natured and he says, uh, yes, I can tell you where where uh, his his house is to, to the best of my knowledge. And he he, um, he takes the, the the little city map that you have and he, he yep. puts a mark on it. And uh, okay, cool. Because this is where this is where it should be. Oh, thank you, my good friend. We are now away. I heard that you're also um, looking for or, or giving an invitation to see um, Salrius as well. Is, is that right? Yes, maybe. Uh, do you know where we can find him? Well, he says, well, I'll, I'll mark that as well. He, he, he adds another mark on your, your map. For, okay, for cool. Salrius' estate. Oh, you're too kind, Ilmer. Of, anything we can do for you? Uh, you know, it's, you know my situation here, uh, but we're, I'm very grateful to you for, for having rescued the young girl and, um, you know, the, the, the matter, uh, about, uh, Orbel, um, is still a mystery and I'm, I'm quite concerned about what might have become of him. Oh, that's right. Yes. We'll keep an eye for him. Many thanks you. Okay. I'm on my way to my, uh, Companions and show them on the map where the house of Ofric is on the second mark as well. Also, where is Sirius? Where is his office or where did he invite us to go to? Huh. Okay, well, if you have the info, let's go. Yeah, um, let's see on the map. Map is still loading for me. Uh, is there supposed to be a mark on the map now for both Operator's house and Sirius's office? Uh, Sirius is a state, yes. Should be. They're both there. Do you see them? Turn out about two marks. Um, I'm not sure which marks are you guys talking about. I think maybe these two are new, right? Is it, it should be labeled. Do you see the labels on them? No, no. Really? no. Uh, no. You, you have to show them. You have to click on the settings of the icon and go to the second windows. I think it's called advanced. And on the top left side, there should be like uh, a uh, That's down. what the problem is. Okay, so all of these yeah. you can't see. Hold on, let me do that for uh -huh. all of these. Apologies, there's a whole bunch of them you should be. Wow. Yeah, now we can. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Thank you very much, Andrea. I didn't realize You're welcome. that. Um, okay, is that everything in this one? Okay, that should be better now. And then this is better here as well. Yeah, mm. excellent. And as always, amazing job, Richard. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn roll 20 a little bit, but, but there yeah, you go. Yeah, nice stuff. Huh? Looks, looks better with labels, definitely. Huh, so okay. the downcast is still in, in the harbor. Uh, well, last when last you checked, that was a couple of days ago. Yeah. No, I'm just wondering, like, because I thought that uh, they're gonna go back to Mastos. Um, well, no, the crews are the crew is still sitting there, or at least part of the crew is still sitting there. And then I'm right. Huh. Weird, because for some reason I thought that they're gonna leave. Like basically, you know, from from uh, Captain Glover that um, they they want to make sure that. You've located Ofric and ah, you sort it. of have okay. your, your your instructions because he doesn't. There's nothing for him to go back to. He needs to to bring a message back about what's going on and ah, okay, get that okay. either from Ofric or from somebody. They're waiting on those guys. Let's go. They, they want to, to reestablish the, the <laughs> communication. And sort of, you know that was Ofric's mission. Mm -hmm.
Can we pass by Cedrius' estate first and then go to offer it? Like, go like this one and then like this? Sure. I think we can get some info from him first. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So show me the path that you're going to take. Well, let me zoom in. <laughs> Looks like we go, I don't know, like if there is a pass here or not, but it looks like there's a pass there like this, and maybe like... Oh, you want to pass? I don't should, know how... Shouldn't we go south? Uh, it seems uh, uh, my uh, ranger, uh, Elphic, uh, sense tells me that uh, we should take uh, the big... Uh, the big path and be away from uh, this uh, fort, uh, something uh, like uh, this direction. But why don't we like just this. pass by the... the... Yeah, I wanted to check this one anyway. Yeah, before. right? Like just yeah. to pass by the HQ. Just to see if these guys are still here or not. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, you do want to see the HQ? Yeah, we will not enter this alley. Basically, we'll just like be walking like and this. Then, and then what? Just have a lock to see if there is any movement around there. Yes, and uh, what information is it going to give you? Well, basically, last we like uh, we kept watch uh, through last night, and nobody came out, which means they stayed inside. And I only left when I went to fight the monsters with you guys. So probably they are inside. So if we can hear any movement or anything, like somebody talking behind the walls or anything. Just to prove that they that are still good, using it. But why do we want to, to, to have a, a near about them? On, why, why, why do you want to spy on them? Oh, because of the first uh, ship is... Uh, what was his name again? The guy from the first ship. Uh, he's working with, uh, with the bad guys who are inside this okay. building. Who is taking this building as headquarters. And we were okay. following him to understand why is he cooperating with them. And what are they doing exactly? Mm. And they are the same people who attacked uh, two girls here before. But I'm not convinced that uh, we need to, to do, uh, we need to, to be uh, so directly uh, f facing them or uh, spying on them so directly. Maybe uh, uh, side information could, could be useful. Yeah, yeah we, we are not, we're not really like, we're just passing by and heading to Saria's estate. Just, just taking that. My, my, uh, my uh, uh, talk was to go this direction and then this direction and then this direction to avoid as much as possible to be noticed by any of those uh, bad guys actually okay it's up to everybody's guessing just some that's a suggestion that's all i mean i don't mind pushing by there but I, I don't want to me. encounter any bad guy. Uh, that's that's not bringing us uh, so I much. I mean, value. they kind of know my face, so and uh, I, Mo Mo Molly's face as well. Yes, we do. I actually move close to Elvan. Mm. I very shyly say, "I think he's right." All right, then we go uh, on a detour. Okay. Uh, and then we're fine with that. As long as we get to Sarah's estate, I don't care. Okay. Let's do that then. All right, GM. So we, we try to find our way through the small streets and uh, heading, uh, generally speaking, south, southwest. Okay. Um, so let me just sort of draw this out and see if I'm right about what you're doing. So you're, you're here at the Nymph Rest now. I guess you're going to sort of what to do this and are you going to come up here through the city center or are you going to try and stay along the waterway? Um, maybe we, we want to see also what's going on a bit uh, in, in the inner city, something like that. All right, so just continue the, oh, like that. Okay, okay. So that basically lines of working your way through this neighborhood and then yeah. this way. Yeah, something like that. How do you clear the... Okay. So let me just check distances here. 
All right. Um, This thing is gone. How did that happen? Oh my. Basically, I, I, I used to have a correct scale on here and I don't see it now. It seems to have come off. Um, the the scale is uh, the, the one, bottom, two, three, the four. The scale is not correct though. Uh, but I made, I made a different one. Basically, the lengths are, are, if I recall correctly, are basically double what that bottom scale shows. Okay. Um, so if you take that route, it's going to be around, I don't know, one and a quarter kilometer or something like that. Okay, not so big deal. So this is not a huge town. Um, yeah. like that. All right, so I'll go this way at once. Five, okay. All right, um, so you, um, is everyone in agreement? This is what you're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're wandering through the streets. And again, these streets are, are desolate. You see a number of refugees um, that are sort of milling about. Um, they, they all look like they're in bad shape. Uh, the streets are cracked and have grass sort of growing up through them. The grass is, is mostly dead. The trees are mostly dead. Uh, gray skies, everything quite, quite depressing as you walk through the streets. Um, as you get to around uh, here, um, it's uh, become sort of a warehouse district. There's uh, a, a number of warehouses that seem to service this, this secondary port um, or docks uh, a little bit further to the south. Um, you pass by that and as you reach this neighborhood here, um, the houses get uh, a little bit nicer, but uh, you know, nicer in an ancient way. There's still, there were once quite nice. It looks like it was once a quite nice neighborhood. Now it's uh, it's it's quite uh, old and and decrepit and crumbling. Um, yeah, do we stand out uh, in regard of the rest of the population? You stand out considerably. Uh, uh, not not the least re reason is that uh, there's there are no other elves or humans. Um, that mm. uh, that are you know okay, part of the natural population. No? E I see. Valeva mezzo milione il Okay. Okay. So you continue on, and you make it up uh, to this neighborhood here without event. Hmm. And let me read this for you. Okay, um, so you, you reach the, uh, the address that Ian Mar gives you and, and the house is, is fairly nondescript. It's, it's decently maintained. Uh, it's, it seems to be in, in better repair than most of the houses around it. It's a two-story block house set along a back street um, in the northwest section of town. Um, do you go up to the, uh, to the door? Mm. Do, do we observe first uh, if there is any animation inside the house? Uh, are there are they windows or um, do we feel there is somebody who is inhabiting it? I'm going to see if I can find the right map here. Give me, give me just a moment. Sorry. Um, too many maps. It's the dreaded placeholder again. <laughs> the character's black hole. Yeah. So afraid of dropping you guys under the wrong map accidentally. Okay. Um, so the house is um, this one here. And I guess really the entrance is on, is here. Mm. Okay, shall we? 
So you take where, a look at the, uh, the door. Um, where are we standing uh, roughly? Uh, let's see, I can do, put you guys on here if you want. Um, but basically you're, you're right now, if you're together, you're, you're over here. Okay. Okay. Unless you don't want to do that. If you want to take more time to come up to the house more discreetly from a distance, you can do that. Uh, maybe a good a good start is just to knock on the door and see if yeah. there's anyone. Well, if there's nobody outside, I guess. Everybody roll me perception. Okay. Perception. Damn. I think the asset is BRB. Wow, seven, my god. So are you there? Just give me a perception check. Oh. Well, by the way, I have 15 passive perception. If yeah, 15 passive, okay, that's good to know. I mean, if you, if you, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I think by by the rules, like you cannot roll lower yeah. than your passive or something. Yeah, that's the way I understand it. It's yeah. it's just that if you're trying to actively search or, or perceive, you can potentially do better than passive, but yeah, as long as you always meet your unless you so. I think Zia said BRB, so yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so, is there else else's passive perception? Uh, hold on, what's your perception? Let's roll for the... Which your... Seven. He did a seven plus his uh, bonus, so probably a ten. Yeah. And your passive perception is also fifteen. Uh, so I... Ah. Wow. Um, problem. Rogues. So, um, okay, so you guys basically notice that um, the, uh, the, the area around the door latch um, seems to be damaged. Oh. Oh, oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, do you knock on the door? Well, if that's the case, I think this calls for an investigation. Yes. All right, guys, Are, we have a situation. Are we rolling for perception? Yeah, so Z Z let me tell you, um, so you guys just come up to the door. We should, if everyone can move themselves over to the little green arrow is that you can- Oh, well, no, the door, that's the door, right? The arrow, so let's go there. Book. Yeah, the arrow. Um, Z what what's happened is you've gone up to the door. You haven't done anything yet. You just sort of checked it out. And you've noticed that the uh, area around the latch of the door seems to be damaged. Um, if you want to give, or you just gave me a perception check. <laughs> it's, uh, appears to be damaged. So? so it seems like someone has tinkered with the lock here. Uh, All right, so the map is still loading, so I can't really see. Yeah, uh, well, I point it out and uh, I look at Elvin and uh, Illinois. And uh, you folks mind to take a little better look? Maybe through the windows, look at Eleanor. Yep, let's do that. Uh, well, you you guys are the stealthy guys. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. This is Africa's house because I, I still yeah, can't see Yeah, that's the it. one. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's not clear yet. So. Okay, let's try to sneak through a window. Yeah. So stealth. Just take a peek. So anyone's stealthing, go ahead and give me a self roll. Are are the people that are is um Purvis or Molly going there? I guess you're gonna stand back and are yes. you actually sort of yeah, hiding? We're staying back. Yes. Staying if back. you're trying to hide going in. stealth roll as well. Uh well maybe actually. Or you can physically Okay, go. sixteen on Z fifteen. <laughs> okay, very good. Where is my token? I don't see it. You don't see it? No. It should be there. It's there. Uh, okay. Uh, should be there. Okay, I see it. Well, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to, you know, stand still. Yeah. You can 
Stand behind a bush there if you want. Yeah, yeah, how about that? Well then, well I have to move, so alright, let's roll stealth. Just for the funsies. Ooh. Oh, going for the bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Some... No, but the funny thing is, is that I'm hidden behind that guy that rolled five. <laughs> okay, so um, so Elvin has gone up, and Elvin, what are you doing? You're looking through a window. Yeah, I'm trying to sneak it for a window, possibly breaking it. Uh... And Eleanor is also going forward. And, and Eleanor, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going inside. You said there's a window, right? Uh, there are windows on the first floor, um, and there's also a, a second floor as well. Do you want to look through the windows, or I apologize, I don't have a, another a better. Name. Yeah, of course, we we look from a window. I, I want to. To, to, to find what's going on with this freak. We are here to to investigate his whereabouts. Okay. So you look through the window on um, the, the, the house inside. Um uh well I don't know who, who's looking in whoever's looking in the window just give me a perception check. Okay. So we should be still outside here, I guess. Yeah. Perception. We are looking together, so might as well do it. So, uh, 20. Uh, I didn't see, but uh, Zie noticed yeah. something probably. So, Zie, you, you look inside through the windows, and the windows are, again, it's, it's it's fairly well kept. The windows are relatively clean. You can see in without much trouble. The inside is dim, um, but right now it's mid-morning, so there's, there's light coming in from the windows. Inside, you see um, furniture, but the furniture looks like it's been turned over and uh, there's various things that are strewn about. Um, looks like it could be clothing strewn about on the floor inside. Um, you don't see any people in there. Okay. But does it look like there was uh, somebody was looking for something or anything? Uh, it could be that. No sign of violence or broken stuff? Well, the, the furniture seems to be turned over so that, you know, you, you surmise that could be from a fight or might not have been, it could have been from something else. Um, but from here, you know, you don't see anything, for example, like a body or anything like that. You and no blood it. or anything. Okay. Not from here. Okay. Uh, I just um, turn around and I say the area is clear. We can go inside. Okay. Okay. So we can sneak through the window, I guess. Sure. You go on through the window. Okay. What does everybody else do? Yeah, following. So you both go in through the window, first floor window. Yep. And Fergus and Molly, are you watching? Or are you coming up? I mean, if Eleanor didn't say anything to us, then I'm just going to stand behind the bush, like <laughs> nonchalantly. I don't know. Okay. I thought I. I thought I heard Eleanor uh, say that he was saying it's clear, but... Okay, yeah, well yeah. then... Uh, all right, then, then nonchalantly start walking in. Stealthy following him. And are you all going through the window? Oh, no, I'm, I'm going through the door. Okay. Um, so you try the door and you find that the door is not locked. Um, well, surprise, again, surprise. It's been uh, fiddled with. Yeah. And you're all inside. I apologize, I don't have a, uh, a, a better map for this, but I'll describe oh, right. to you um, what's going on. Um, okay, so it, it appears quite obvious that the house has been ransacked. Um, the contents of cabinets and drawers and chests have been spilled out on their clothes and blankets that are strewn all about the floor. Uh, there's dishes and cutlery and other odds and ends uh, that have been broken and spilled out of their containers. Um, uh, you're on the first floor. The first floor is, is comprised mostly of one large room, um, and you see a side room that appears to be a study of some sort, and then there's the kitchen and a stairway that leads up to the second floor. Okay, I want to search a bit the area if, if there's anything of interest. Okay, um, so yeah, sure, give me um, an investigation check. Uh, uh, maybe not because uh, I'm a minus one. So, oh, investigation. I can. Yeah, I think at this point you're doing investigation. 
Um, no, although, if anyone wants to give me a perception check too, I'll, I'll let you know if you, you know, if you notice anything. Yeah. I'll investigate. Let's see. Oh. 23 perception. Okay. Um, Elvin, you notice um, in the corner uh, coming out of the um, study a, uh, <laughs> a, a, a rat. It's a, a black rat. And okay. It, it scurries towards the door and out, out the door. I have a, uh, I, I'm trying to to communicate with this rat. I have a animal handling, handling. So I'm pretty familiar with uh, animals. Animal and, uh, handling, I think. And I, think. I speak with animals. Okay, speak with animals. So that's a spell. Do you, do you cast the spell? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, so as it's screwing across, you, you, you cast the spell speak with animals and you start squeaking at it. It stops and turns around and glares at you. Give me a, another perception check. Hey, my little friend. Yep. That's fine. Okay. When it stops and turns around to look at you, you notice something very strange. Its tail is not like a normal rat's tail. It seems to be barbed. There's like a barb on the end of it of some kind. Oh. And then it turns and it scurries out the door and uh, to, the, toward, to the right um, along that street out in front. Uh, so he's not talking to me? It did, did not talk to you. It sort of looked at you and I guess you could sort of sense some understanding from it, um, but it then turned and screwed up the door. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Do I recognize this as a, a normal animal or something? Something is a bit odd. Something's definitely a bit odd about it. it. Is not, you know, you initially expected it was just a, a regular rat, and you were yeah. going to try to talk uh, to it. Yeah. You realized that it. Was definitely something different about it. Um, Friends, that was not a rat. Yeah. DM, uh, does it smell like something similar in here, like the goat? Man? No, you don't. Good, good point. You don't. You don't smell anything extreme like that. You smell sort of mustiness. Um, that it's been Musty. a place that's been closed up. You know, just like a, like any house would be that's been closed up without air for some time. Um, but nothing. Uh, um, well, that definitely that, wasn't a normal rat, I say. I stay alert. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, continue searching this house. All right. Okay. So the rat came out from 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 where exactly? Came out from the sort of side office room, and then okay. ran sort of right between you guys and out the front door. Okay. Uh, I signal towards the, the that office room. Okay. Um, so you enter this office room. It's a small study. Um, it's got a single desk with a with a desk chair that's been turned over. The desk has been uh, emptied, and there's there's papers mm -hmm. strewn all about. Um, does somebody want to investigate the the desk? That's really the only piece of furniture in the room. Of note. Hmm. Yeah, well, if you let me roll another one, uh, but before that, I praise nature and cast guidance on myself. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't trust my rolls today. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And anyone else who wants to help me would be appreciated. In perception or investigation? Uh, I'm investigating, and let me add a d4 to that. Oh, 14. Uh, could not bad. Not bad. Could be better. And okay. Uh, okay, so you have a fourteen total. Okay, so um, after some searching and scrounging, um, um, you find in the desk a uh, um, what appears to be a bound leather journal. Mm. Huh. Good. Flip it open. Okay, flip it open, and inside, um, it's 
it is indeed a journal. There's a number of dates with entries. Um, and you can surmise pretty quickly that this is Ofric's journal. It talks about, amongst other things, um, the, the journey aboard the Urtica um, from Calais, Mastos uh, to Port Gawatch, and with, with dates and um, annotations of orders from the Guild to find out what the situation is um, in Gralandar and to reestablish communication with the Council there. Mm -hmm. um, the log shows that the Urtica departed Calais Mastos and arrived at Gralandar, uh, upon which um, a meeting was scheduled with uh, two other guild representatives, Idra Bosk and Thomas Gray. Um, and the, the journal shows that those were the representatives that, um, you know, if you recall, the way that the whole thing worked before with the communication between Kelly Mastos and Port Gawatch is that each ship would carry with it a representative from the guild Mm. And um, it would drop off a representative, and another ship would take the a, a second representative back to Calimastos, and that way they would sort of trade information back and forth that way um, mm. over time. So Idra Bosk was the um, representative on the Kincardine, and Thomas Gray is a representative on the Arbite. Um, so the journal shows that there was a meeting to take place um, with between... Ofric and those other two representatives, and the date uh, you somebody give me a wisdom check. Anybody can roll. Okay. Just sort of all looking for this together. Wisdom, wisdom. Or intelligence actually would work as well. Probably, it probably is intelligence. Yeah. Okay, Elvin. Elvin, you, you it's fine. You you recognize that the the date on that for for the meeting um, was the day before the the date that the Urtica was apparently sunk. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, um, and the the place of the meeting was supposed to be at the Merchant Guild office uh, there at Port Gawatch in the old town of Port Gawatch. Okay, well, it seems that there is an office. We need to ask a few questions around. Yes, but uh, so that's the last entry in the journal. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's the last entry in the journal. Wow, okay. Something went wrong. They were trying to to set some uh, good agreements and uh, appease everyone on somebody else wanted yeah. to spoil this agreement. Uh, I was mm. put and if my timeline is correct, uh, well, anyways, uh, I think I agree to say, oh, this was eight weeks earlier, wasn't it? Wait, no. Well, when was this? Two and a half months ago, when the Urtica sailed. Two months, was it like two months ago? So the last date is, is kind of two and a half months ago, right? See, so it should be good on the timeline. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm trying to look at the timeline and... Uh, yeah, uh, two and a half months is a good thing. Uh, this is not there, hold on, I can tell you. Um, when the, when the uh, Urtica sunk, one second, I'm just go here. Um, Urtica, Urtica, Urtica. It was, uh, the Urtica landed about eight weeks ago from, yeah. uh, and then um, it was about seven weeks ago that okay. the, uh, the whole thing sunk. Hmm. Well, that explains the mustiness of this place. So what happened to Ulfric? Are there more um, rooms to to be to explore, or it's uh, roughly we have seen everything? I think there's yes, a second so story, second. right? Yes, yeah, second, yeah. second story. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go. Maybe we find. Well, I hope we're not gonna find Ulfric there, but something tells me that we might. Uh, let's go up. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Yeah. Although, if there was a body in here, we would probably smell it by this time. Hmm. 
Okay. Go, sure. how, are you, how are you going up the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> stealthily, stealthily as usual. I will, let, uh, I will let Elvin go first. Because I have a bad feeling about this. 21. Oh, okay. I'm like the shadow. So I'm like the wind. Well, anyone else small and go ahead and roll stealth if you want to roll small or, or just march on up there. Okay, 16. And what about uh, Molly and... Uh... I'm rolling, I'm rolling. You guys are not staying? Uh, nice. Uh, well, nature guide me. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not rolling good today. Sorry, guys. In advance. Oh, no. and oh, wait a second. Nature guide me 17. Okay. All right. So you all creep the stairs and you avoid any squeaking on the staircase somehow. And you get to the second story. And um, you discover there, uh, there are three rooms. There's um, a bedroom, uh, a guest room, what appears to be a guest room. Um, and a small storage room that has a couple of, of trunks in it. Um, and uh, all of them, again, appear to be uh, in disarray and with contents spilled out and apparently ransacked. Um, mm -hmm. But you don't see anyone else up there. There's, there's no one up there. Um, so, so the, the doors bed, are all open? The doors are all open. Okay. Yeah, and stuff is spilled out. Um, in, the bedroom, um, you've got uh, a dresser, um, a sort of medium-sized bed, and a trunk. Um, in the guest room, similarly, you have sort of similar kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's almost set up like a, like an Airbnb kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's been set up for people to stay in, you know, while they're there in Fort Gawash. Mm. Okay. Uh, like the dresser, the trunk, everything is open. and just. Uh, the trunk is not. Um, but the dresser is. Huh. Let's search this a bit. Although there is a piece of clothing sticking out of the trunk, but it's not open. Oh, is it? Uh oh. <sighs> All right. I gingerly walk up to the trunk, and uh, is it locked? Do you check? Hmm? Do you check? Uh, yeah, I try to open it. Try to open it? Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. You try to open it, and, uh... Uh-oh. All okay. of a sudden... It's all freaking pieces. <laughs> you open it? Yes. Rats. Yeah, it's probably a bunch of rats. An army of rats. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the trunk, uh, in the body of the trunk, um, it, it has uh, a few remaining clothes. Most of the clothes seem to have been spilled out and strewn about the floor around it. Um, however, on the lid of the trunk, you see this. And this has been, can you all see it? Uh, it's loading um, up. It's been, uh, I guess, actually, who can just... Just give me um, either investigation or nature. Oh, wow, cool. I'll do nature. No, I'll do nothing. I have a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> you can still roll. Okay, let's roll this. Good. Eight. Okay. I go, not terrible. Really no um, so, in looking at this, you, you see that it's been um, th these these images have been carved in to the, to the uh, to the lid of the trunk, um, and you see, you notice that there are some uh, wood shavings that have uh, spilled into the trunk itself. Um, it appears to you that this is somewhat potentially recent. <coughs> potentially what? Recent. Recent. Mm -hmm. So not not a very old carving. That's some fine craftsmanship. Does it so, appear like there's something behind that uh, trunk? Uh, I'm not sure, is this a floor or is a wall or where exactly in the trunk is it? Uh, it's the lid, right? Yeah, the, the inside of the lid. So when you opened it up, um, oh. you sort of picture this wooden trunk and on the inside of the lid is this. 
right. Can I check if there is anything uh, like if there is a door inside that trunk leading somewhere or anything behind the wall or something? Yeah, I mean, you can move the trunk around. It's it's uh, sort of a medium-sized trunk, maybe three feet wide and two two and a half feet tall. So you can you can move around. There's not much in it, so it's fairly, you know, it's movable. It's not terribly heavy. Um, you want to you want to do investigation, sort of search the. You said the walls and the floor. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Give me um, an investigation check for that. And could I roll nature to identify the bird, like the bird carving, like? Exactly you, you what can type indeed. of you can indeed. Uh, Eleanor, you search and and uh, oh wait, that's that is Eleanor. That's yeah. Sorry, I'm getting you guys' names confused. <laughs> Eleanor, you look and you look at the floor and the walls before you sort of knock on them and rap on them for for hollow points and you you look for any sort of scuff marks, um, but you don't see anything that seems out of sort. It looks fairly solid and and uh, nothing. You, you feel you feel fairly confident. There's nothing. Sort of hidden compartment or anything like that in the floor mm -hmm. walls. Okay. Purvis, um, you're Apparently, pretty sure that, that it's <laughs> that it's a bird, actually. Yes. I haven't seen that bird before. This is weird. Um, give me you 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 are um being a druid. Give me. I'll give you advantage on that roll, though. So go ahead. Okay. okay. This is this is very um, embarrassing. All right, please, nature god. Ugh. All right. Um, do you, do you still have anything? Well, also, I'm I'm a researcher. Right. Um, I, I'm a sage as well. So I can. Thirteen. Thirteen. I can help with that's, that. That's actually enough. This is this is not an unusual bird. This is it's a it's a picture fairly clearly of a raven, a uh, black you know blackbird. All right. So we have a tree. We have moon, we have, I don't know how to describe it, someone's growing stuff, crops, I guess, druid, ranger, and then we have a raven. Um, uh, okay. DM, DM, I would like to ask you a question, because uh, I'm a sage, a researcher, so, yep. you know, as my background, basically, I if I have ever seen a similar drawing in any book I have ever read before, or from my teacher, if he taught me anything about these drawings before, I might be, be able to recall information about it. Sure, Maybe. give me a wisdom check. Okay. Wisdom is sort of like recall knowledge, is there? Yeah. yeah. That's a path. Yeah, it's 19. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so your impression actually um, or comes not so much from um, your background uh, as a scholar, but more from your background of your of your um, your criminal contact background, um, where from say that, that again, Jim. Sorry. So so Eleanor has a has a, a sort of a network in his where it used to be used to have a network of contacts, mm -hmm. and uh, from that network um, he knows that people sometimes leave coded messages for other people okay. that um, are supposed to convey some sort of a some sort of a message that can be decoded um by, i see yeah this this is similar to that oh is this see. like thief scant or something yeah oh, i have no idea then um it's not it's not really thief scant it's not that it's just it's just sort of the you know the general nature of, of what this is yeah as as some sort of a Perhaps he believes I am um, a way of leaving a message for somebody that's supposed to. Okay, so he's saying by the full moon, meet me at the tree, um, yeah. and uh, we'll uh, bring the the fruit to the birds, the leaves to the birds. Yeah. Mm. That's hey, what he says. Uh, hey Molly, have you seen this tree before? I I can't seem to identify it. Molly scratches her head and just, she just say a no, no with her head. Okay. Do you want to, do you want to give a roll for that? Okay, let's have a roll. Give me a niche roll for that. It's just wisdom. Just or nature. investigation. Uh, I think it's really, it's more, it's not nature. nature. It was nature, I think I rolled. Yeah, I did, and it was a hate, so. 
Did you roll for this one? Yeah, if you see my roll is uh, a bit upstairs before yeah, I yeah. up. Yeah, I rolled an eight. I'll let you re-roll for this, uh, both because you're a druid and this is a nature thing, and because this is a new check for a new Sure, okay. and I will. Let's do that. Because you know it's a message now. Yeah, well, no, it's, now, now we know it's like a message. Right, six. And again, I'm going to give you advantage because you're a druid. This is a right, right up your... Oh, right up your nah, I can't uh, roll uh, above a 10. It really doesn't matter. He's still feeling a little bit groggy from the whole sickness. Yeah. Thing. No, because in this game, for some reason, they put map your own intelligence, something that druids will never have. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, yeah. If anyone wants to, wants to do a nature check, I'll take a nature check from anybody. Um, uh, mine. <laughs> not that good. Just give me a 10, somebody. Someone. <laughs> It's not happening. <laughs> no. Which role do you want? Elvin, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, just do it. Nature. 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 Please roll. Yeah. Molly, please I'll do, please do it. Because Molly, for the ranger, I'll give you one more for nature on this one. This is directly up there. Oh, we got the yeah. oh, yeah. We have a druid. We have a oh. druid in this team. Elvin, this yes. makes sense because you're you're as an elf, you um you also have an affinity for for trees and things. Yes, um, of course. I recognize this as an ash tree. A what? Ash tree. Ash tree. Ash tree. Uh, ash tree. Okay. All right. It's an ash tree, guys. I'm cool. positive. Did we did we see any ash trees in town while we moved around? You saw an awful lot of dead trees. Um, it's possible that um, they may have been ash trees. You could go back and take a look. They're sort of mm. the trees, sort of all, you know, dead sort of uh, leafless trees all around town. And do we need to check all the trees around town, basically? Yeah, I don't think we should do that. Though. Well, do we know what phase of the moon it is right now, today? Anyone has wisdom for that? I don't know. I mean, did we um, look up at the do, sky? Yeah, you do know already that, that, the, that the moon is approaching a uh, full moon. Um, okay. I'd have to check there for you to get me ex for you to know exactly oh. how much longer it would be until it is. But it's it's getting to be full moon. You think it's not too far away it, without mm. even thinking about it. Mm. Well, maybe not tomorrow, but but not before long. Hmm. We should we... do a sketch of this because we can't walk around with a trunk. <laughs> Is somebody good with drawing? I... Is it Molly good with it's drawing? Rather not. <laughs> no, it's I said Molly. Hmm. Molly is good with drawing. Well, as long as you memorize it, uh, Eleanor, I'm, I'm good with it. Please take a copy of this message. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming the, this, like, the bird doesn't look like a raven, but a raven, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a raven. Looking for a raven. Maybe we can see a bunch of ravens on top of some trees. Yeah. Like from now on, everyone keep an eye out for ravens. Raven. Mm. Mod the hand and that plant. Anyway, yeah, while you are checking that sketch, is there anything on the second floor that looks interesting? Do we see any rats again? Uh, no more rats. Um, other than that, that's it. Um, you, you check the guest room and the storage room. There's really nothing much there um but again everything looks like it's been searched once already at least uh, all right shall we shall we move on not sure um, move on to uh, what's the race. The race? yeah so race. Yes. yeah let's go to saturday then everybody's done here uh. Okay, Jim. Um, what do you want to do? I go um, to Ceres. Yeah. Everybody's okay. To uh, Celerius. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm partly 
happy that we didn't find a dead old freak here. <laughs> but then again, where could he be? He's hiding. Maybe he's... he's I don't know. We should inquire a bit about this old freak. What do you know about him? Nothing, basically. Not much, but his personality, his friends, uh, who are his enemies. What was he trying to do, really? Well, I hope he didn't... Hmm. Maybe he, he died on the Urtica? I don't know. We should he, definitely go back and check that, that wreck a bit more. You, you had heard, you do recall, that the sailors were telling the story of Ofric being there, watching, you know, trying to... With the sailors that were trying to get out to the to the, to the Urtica while it was burning, ah, if you see ah. during the distance. So okay. he was spotted that night. Um, okay. But that was it. Okay. So unless he sort of got out there after it had already um, been on fire and somehow died that way, uh, you, 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 you can deduce that he was not there, at least when the fire started. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. On to Sarias then. Okay. Um, what direction do you need? I guess we just, we just take the main road, right? Okay. Or something just like this. Okay. Um, okay, so you head off down the road and um, you um, are making your way. It's, it's uh, the road widens to a, to um, sort of a, a nicer style of cobblestone. And this really does look like it's quite a nice neighborhood, at least once upon a time. Um, but you still see the occasional refugee now sort of cuddled along the street. And you get to about here, and you see um, two uh, tieflings um, that also look scroungy and look they're really up to no good. Um, and they're dashing um, in this direction. Oh. Along the street. As Again. You Again towards that quarter. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Seems they, seems they are moving around from there and doing bad stuff and then coming back. And Do you want to catch them? Again. Uh, uh, I want to get some information. To... Okay. Well, we can keep fighting, but we are not getting any info out of them. We just kill them. Yes, exactly. Them. Exactly. Let's mm -hmm. try to gather info first. Let's go to Sarai's and then maybe on our way back we can check it here again. Okay. All right. So you you walk up uh, the, that main street and you, there's it opens to a large, very, very large, extravagant lot. Mm. This may take a lot to load. Dark. Oh, that's big. You see it? Oh, there. Uh, okay. Yeah. The home of Attaché Silrius is large and, and extravagant. Uh, it's located at the edge of Old Town Mansion, maybe the most impressive structure oh. in all of Fort Gawash, at least that you have seen. It's self, set well, well back from the main road. Uh, it's a three-story building that sits proudly on acres of open land. Windows overlook the grounds, and the tower and one tower raises along its west side. Uh, yet, despite the grandeur, the estate brings a great sense sense of foreboding, uh, as if the moss-covered walls hold terrible secrets, oozing poisonously, like the green-tinged light that spills out of the windows, illuminating the party's approach. Hold on, once again, one more thing, just cause. Did it and I forgot about it. Green light. Oh. Ah. 
I see we're here. Oh, those maps are so beautiful. Hmm. This picture is so scary. <laughs> You know what's really really cool about this? I, I, this is this is one of my favorite maps. The 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 map is actually a map of that picture. Huh. Oh, it, it really amazing, is. amazing, pretty, pretty damn cool. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, um, so you're there at this uh, sort of circular roadway, um, and you see stairs leading up to what? You assume to be the front door, the main door. That is. Yeah. All right. So no people outside, just some like statues, I guess. Those yep, are. That's all you see. Okay. Hmm. It's, it's a fountain or something. Just a city. Oh, now I see. Just about yeah. Okay. Well, we were invited, so I guess there's nothing to fear. Uh, says Fervus under his breath and just like an OG son climbs the stairs slowly <laughs> and looks back at the other two. Are you guys coming? Alright. Yeah? Yeah? Yep. Uh, under what capacity are we supposed to visit them? Uh, I mean, we were invited, weren't we? He sent for us, basically. Uh, okay. We're a bit late, but okay. Uh, well, we had a busy day yesterday. Alright. Ugh. Uh, I guess that's. Is this a door? Yep, that's right. Yeah, okay. the um, I actually I had to draw a separate diagram for myself of where all the doors are in this thing. Okay, you really are. <laughs> so if you if you want to know at any time, just ask me. And uh, I have uh, my separate notebook, but I've got it. So it's uh, it's hard to see. All right, but that is the front door. Is that like um, I'm not sure about how it's called, but it's like a an iron knocker on the door you know the thing that mm -hmm. there is there's i'm not sure how it's called in english uh, a door knocker oh it's yeah. just a door knocker okay but, uh, well then uh grab is it this a, is this a window before you knock on the door yeah can, can we see what's inside <laughs> um give me a second here ah where's the door uh, well Going to the next window. Just, you know, what the thief would do basically before entering any house. Well, you do you. I guess I'll knock. You knock at the door. Um, after a couple of moments, you hear footsteps approaching, sort of slow, shuffling footsteps. And the door opens um, and one of these days I'm going to perfect this lighting thing. Um, the door opens and you see a furball that comes out of the door. Ah. He says, you rang. He says, um, <laughs> he says, uh, oh, Hello. Uh, welcome to Master Solarius's estate. Uh, my name is Herbal. Uh, I am his manservant. How may I help you? Uh, we came to visit your master, I believe. Uh, Herbal. Uh, I'm sorry, how do you spell his name? Yeah, once I'm going to put it on the thing. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So he seems to be the... Uh, what's the right word? Yeah, the servant. Okay. Yeah. Or, well, not servant, was the... What's offered to uh, Batman? The, the butler? The yeah, the butler, that's it. Thank you, Amazing. butler. Okay. Um, so he's... Um, oh, let me find this word. So he's an elderly uh, verbal. Um, he... Uh, where is that? Sorry. Um, he's dressed in a dark and somewhat rumpled house coat. Uh, secured by a broad fabric cummerbund around the waist. Uh, he bows to the party and straightens himself uh, when, when you present yourselves. And um, he says, oh, yes, of course. You must be the, the party from uh, the new ship. I, I, was, uh, I left a message there for you at, at the Nymph's Rest Tavern and Inn, uh, according to the instructions of my master. Please come in. Yeah, thank you. So he says, um, oh, my master will be with you uh, momentarily. I'll tell him that you're here. I'll show you to the, to the parlor in, in, in the meantime. Uh, sounds good. Thank you. Takes you into this room. Oh, it's a very nice statue. Mm. Oh, well. I'd like to know if the, the house is well maintained or it's a bit decrepit or yeah. is, is there an atmosphere of a lively... Uh, I don't think you would or, call it lively, but it definitely looks well maintained. Uh, okay. Very well cleaned, uh, okay. polished almost. Very stark contrast to uh, the other places that you've seen. Okay. Oh, this whole thing here. Okay. Um, all right. So again, if you want to know what sort of doors and windows are, just ask me at any point. Okay. Um, so Herbal says, "Is there anything I can bring you? Is there anything else you need? If not, I'll I will go and fetch the master." Uh, I wouldn't mind some green tea, if you don't mind. Green tea. Green tea. Yes. He sort of, he sort of uh, frowns to himself and he says, "Oh, okay." And he he, uh, he says, "I'll be back." <laughs> he heads off with a very worried look on his face. Uh, well, any tea would do. <laughs> <laughs> Something stronger, maybe, for me. <laughs> and coffee for my friend. Uh, I meant alcohol. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so he um, heads off um, and he's gone for a little bit of time. Anything you want to do in the meantime? Oh, sure. Check around. Okay. And I, I just... I just look around, but she's facing out as usual. Sure. Um, so it's, it's, this is sort of a, 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 a lounge room. It's, it's a parlor. It's quite elegant. The furniture is very nice. Um, uh, definitely antiques. They look quite valuable. Um, nice fireplace and and along the north wall there, um, another door to the to the right and leading to the north. Uh. There, yeah. And uh. um, other than that, it's it's just it just looks like a uh, you know a very nice place. See the windows um, al along the uh, southern and southeastern edge look uh. out into the gardens in the front. Do we hear anybody speaking on the other side of that door? No, well, you can roll perception. You don't hear it. There's nothing loud. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if the butler is taking his time. Not that long. Uh, Eleven. Not that long? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Well, no, 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 no. My, my roll is not that. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> I was talking about numbers. Uh, uh, DM, could I just pop? I'm not going to ritual cast this because I don't know if we have time or not. Uh, I just would like to pop a detect magic, just for fun. What's the range of it? Uh, ooh, okay. I think it was thirty feet. That's what I remember, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's thirty feet. So where are you standing when you do that? Oh yeah, just right there. I'm just you know I'm just getting right? bored. Old man sure. getting bored. Just okay. doing a 
detect magic for okay. fun. You do not detect any magic other than... Uh, you, I don't know if you're carrying anything magical. Yeah. Other than that. No. Other than Molly shines. <laughs> no. I'd like to check if this door is open. It's open. Okay, you check it. You test the test the doorknob. The doorknob turns. It it appears to be unlocked. Oh, okay. I, I take a peek. Just open it a little bit and take a peek inside. Sure. Um, okay. All right, and you see a. I mean, if nobody's inside, I can go inside. But first, taking a peek. Why is this not working? Hey, Alvin, aren't you coming in? Long quarter. Say it again. Uh, I'm just. Uh... The token of Alvin is still like outside. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe he's enjoying the garden. Uh, yeah, well, why are you checking it out? It's good inside. <laughs> mm. um, Are there okay. any doors in that corridor or just, just a corridor? No doors? Uh, you can see there are doors along the left side. Um, so I can see them. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, there is a set of doors here. Um, there are some windows man, I'm gonna need to refer to my notebook. Um there's a door I believe along here. Can you see these by the way? Am I the right level? No, I can't see it. No you can't I mean, wrong level. Okay. There's I think there's a door along here. I think there's a door along here, this area. Um I think there's a door along this area that you can see. Something like um, okay, so you hear um, some steps, uh, footsteps approaching from the outside, and a moment later, um, did you see anything? I turned to an hour. Just a long corridor with a bunch of doors. All right. Um, enters a what you or the first time in your lives have ever seen a, a very portly looking um, tiefling. Oh. Um, so we are getting tense. And he enters and says, uh, "Oh, gentlemen and, and ladies, welcome. Uh, I am Atashi Salarius at your service." Oh, nice to meet you at last. Oh. I just throw our good friend Booze send you his regards. Good friend Booth. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not quite sure who you're referring to, but um, can we detect so many people you understand? So I'm, I see. I, I'm, I, I thank you for, for sending me regards. Uh, it's very kind of you. Uh, may I offer you anything to drink? Uh, yeah. Y yes, oh. your your butler was uh, bringing us, uh, but uh, we will uh, gladly uh, accept another round. Herbal, herbal, and he hasn't returned it. He, he steps out. Says, herbal, uh, herbal. What are I you think, doing? I think he's brewing tea, because I asked for tea. <laughs> oh. I guess it takes time. Oh. See what you get. I, 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 I make you no promises. Well, in any event, have a have a seat. Get comfortable. I, I, I am happy that you came to to pay me this visit. I just wanted to make sure that you found everything satisfactory and and everything is is going according to plan and and uh, you know everything will be wrapped up shortly. I presume. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, we hope to wrap things up quick. Hey Molly. Good, good, what? good, good. Glad to hear that. Molly, I just look, look at Molly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> just moves behind there. Yeah. Molly's hiding. Yeah. yeah he's not, not, 
not rolling stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Being shy. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I would like to ask him about uh, Ortiga. Mm -hmm. Since uh, he said, like, he was the first person who basically he believes that the refugees burned the ship and he was there when he burned it. So I just I just asked him, like, do you know about the Ortiga and who burned it just to see what he's going to say? Well, I, yes, I, you know, we have these, these, uh, I know, pilgrims or travelers from the north and they they're 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 coming into the town, and you know some of them are are making trouble. They're 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 just uh, rabble rousers, you know, and and uh, apparently they tried to uh, capture the the ship, the Urtica, for their own purposes. And well, they they then you know just decided they'd set it on fire. They're out of controls. These these, these oh people. bastards! Anything we can help with? No, no, everything's perfectly under control. I, you know, we, we, we've uh, had to um, have security in town. We've got a fine, fine uh, uh, security guard force that, that are they're doing an excellent job. And uh, no, I think everything is just... Oh. Are they though? I mean, with all due respect, uh, Atashi Sarias, uh, um. we did come across some... Uh, well, I don't know where they come from, but they look demonic. They smell terrible, and uh, your your claimed guards uh, didn't really stand up to them. Uh, and uh, there's also tieflings um, harassing the refugees. Uh, is really everything in order? Of course, everything's right. Now. That's that's mostly just rumor and conjecture. It's all fake. There's. There's really no problem. I think you, what you may have seen was something quite out of the ordinary. I, I really don't think there's anything at all for you to be concerned about. Yes, there are there are some some troublemakers of uh, that I've I've heard of, and some of them being tieflings. There's they're, they're really the troublemakers that are all coming from from the north. I've, I'm doing my best to, to to keep them out, and you know I'm, I've issued some orders. I think everything will will soon be will be wrapped up quite well, quite well. I think uh, it will be perfect very soon. Um, but there, you know, there, there, are, there are these particular troublemakers uh, here that, that well, you know, we, 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 we will get them under control soon. This one in particular. Uh, I totally agree, uh, yeah. dear sir. I Violence like comes from both sides. That is, it is. Uh, there, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's good and bad on every side, right? I'd like to check if he's lying. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Um, Second. Well, he's definitely trying to make us believe that everything is under control when we've seen that it's not. <laughs> um, if you want to see this line, give me an insight check. Insight. Not my best thing, but wow, okay. <laughs> oh, natural 20. Natural 20, good. Um, so, you know, yeah, you get the sense that he... Um, you know, he uh, he's definitely withholding information, um, and he. I guess when he's speaking, he's speaking in part truths. There, there is truth mixed in there, but he's definitely withholding stuff, and not everything is pure truth. So, th does it look like he basically like uh, like how do I say this? Like he is trying to believe that everything is all right, will be all right, or basically like. He knows about the bad guys and he's just trying to cover for them. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, he's trying to get things under control or basically, like, he is cooperating with the bad guys. Like, he's basically covering for them. In well, my sense, what, which one? What is? you get the sense of is that he's telling these things to you in order to convince you of these things, not yeah. necessarily that he believes exactly what he is saying. And you also get the sense that he's withholding uh, quite a bit. Okay, so it's like he might be cooperating with them. Maybe. Uh, well, Atasha, again, with all due respect, we've met these demonic creatures in battle. We brought three of your men, two of them dead, to the hospital. Oh my god. I'm looking at the sky, rolling my eyes. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have seen that, but... 
It's too uh, late now. It's okay. I don't think it's under control. I don't understand. You you did you did what? And and uh, you you killed some of my men. Uh, no. It is an old man. Don't pay so much no, attention. No, quite the contrary. We've saved one of three of the guards who were fighting against these demonic creatures. The the only demonic creatures that that I'm aware of are the the rabble rousers, um, of which they they really need to be brought under control. And I I intend to uh, pass some some orders soon to to make sure they are taken out of control. We just need to. We need to uh, get to the bottom of the uh, the leader of the rabble rousers, and then we'll be we'll be also. In the meantime, uh, really, it's not your concern. This is my concern. I do appreciate your bringing this to my attention, absolutely. But I I, I think you know you you have a a, a mission here, no? Then and uh, perhaps uh, there's something I can help you with in that respect. You are absolutely right, dear sir. We are actually interested in uh, resuming trades uh, and uh, facilitating economic development for the region and the benefit of all the, the important people that this uh, area counts, of course. Of course, of course, that, that is uh, what we all want. Uh, so the uh, Tom Zoprek was, was uh, not Tom Francis Zoprek, was uh, going to, I believe, reconnect with the council and reestablish those communication lines. It wasn't so long ago, you know, communication was fine, but you know, recently we've had a bit of trouble uh, communicating with, with the council. And uh, as far as I know, Ofric was, uh, was going to, you know, work to, to reestablish that. And from what I understand, uh, he, he had mentioned before that there was going to be a team following that was that was supposed to support him in that. So I assume you'll be, you know, on your way and and uh, off with Ofric uh, in short order, correct? Ofric. Yeah. So oh, do, you... do you know where we can find him? Ofric. Oh, as far as I know, he uh, he has a place in town, or he would be meeting with the uh, the other uh, representatives um, at the Merchant Guild's offices and trying to decide what they're going to do. I, I really would no, have no direct knowledge of it, though. It's uh, See, business yeah. of, of uh, your land, I believe. Mm. I'm going to lie to him and tell him that Ulfric is dead and see his reaction. Um, OK, so you say yeah. that? Well, yeah. before that, before that, I would like just to ask him, does he know where is the captain? Of the Ortiga, well, I don't tell him that we hear that he went north. Basically, I just want to see if he knows or not. Like I just ask him, does he know? Do you know where is the captain of the Ortiga right now? The captain of the Ortiga, the captain of the ship that was sunk. Yeah. Um, he says, I, you know, I, I don't know. I know that uh, most of the crew, from what I have heard, uh was was on the ship you know when when the tragedy hit and uh, these these northern troublemakers sunk it uh, and I believe that most of the crew was lost there there are a few that that survived that were not on board um, and I believe you could find them at the end that's close to the docks um, the captain I I don't have any direct knowledge uh, I'm sorry is it captain Volts was it the guy who went to the north I'm sorry I forgot the name uh, oh, that Kincardian? Uh, the Kincardian. Captain Bolt. He was he was off the Kincardine. Ah, yeah, the Kincardine. Okay, uh, I have to ask him about Captain uh, Bolt from Bolt. the Kincardine. Yeah. Bolt. Yeah. He um he says uh no I I've, I've I, I you know he he has been um a captain for for the Kincardine uh and and sailing uh, from you know into our into our town for the last five or seven years so I I, I know of the man. Uh, I don't ha know him well personally, but I've heard that he um, has a relation with with someone uh, in in a town, a village, uh, not far to the north of here. But that's all I know about him. Mm. And do you know the reason why the government took their ship? Because I heard that you were there the day they took their ship away, and you were with the captain during that day. So, do you know the reason why the government took their ship? 
yeah, the council, the council indeed, uh, they they ordered that the ships were to be sailed to the north, uh, back uh, up to to a uh, uh, port um, that's under their control. Uh, I received those orders and uh, I I crewed those ships up with uh, with sailors uh, that that we hired and that that's all I know. I was simply following orders. Okay, I see. Okay, uh, I, I lean towards Ferros and I say, tell him, tell him. You sure? Should we tell him? All right. Well, to be to be frank, uh, we've already tried locating Ulfric, but well, either he's dead or uh, he's being held captive. And he pauses. Um, how are you doing this? Are you trying to sort of use this information to sort of push him to give you? Yeah, a... I'm. I'm trying to look at his reaction when I yeah. when I mention like that or. Hey, um, give me either. Um, first of all, for you know, for the effect that you're trying to have on him. Um, give me either a um, intimidation or. Do we have diplomacy? <laughs> diplomacy? Uh, uh, I, I, I really have Pathfinder to do this. Yeah, yeah, no. it's, 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 uh, Do we have the opposite of intimidation? Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess you can do deception. Deception or... Persuasion, yeah. maybe? Persuasion? Intimidate, no. Uh, I mean, it's the same. I mean... Deception. What about good. deception? Yeah, I mean... Uh, That's deception. Good. I'm actually not lying to him when I say it because we really don't know what happened to him. But all we know is uh, his friends. Yeah, if you if you don't, if you, I mean, if that's some sort of thing like a like a. But it would be sort of a charisma check to see. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, I, I kind of want to see his if reaction. You're to, if you're trying to so, if you're trying to elicit a reaction, why don't you see what you what you get for a charisma check? Okay, well, I mean, I don't have any charisma, so it's just okay. a straight roll. Okay. Eh. Right. Hey, that's fine. Just I was wondering if you'd have any extra additional effect other than the facts. Okay, so you tell him this, and he pauses, and he's he's as dead or cap captured, captured by who? Well, we found his well where he was supposed to be staying, ransacked, and uh, yeah, he seemed to have. Uh, well, we didn't find his body, but that doesn't mean he's not... Oh, and we've, we've kind of seen a strange creature, uh, a rat with a barb, uh, with, with like a barbed tail. Give me a perception check. Okay, here we go. Uh, where is it? Sorry. As a matter of fact, kind of all, don't want to tell him about check. Everyone yep. gave a perception check, and everyone's watching this. Yep. Yeah. And I'm trying not to mention the oh the message yet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, that's oh. terrible. Oh my god. Fervus got it, did 19 from, from, from Fervus. So, Fervus, uh, you, you, you see, what, when you were talking about you know being captured or, or missing, um, Ofrek, he it definitely gave it definitely gave him pause um uh and you know he was you could tell he was thinking about that but when you mentioned the rat it, he, he, he you know his eyes got wide just quickly and he tried to cover it very quickly and oh did it interesting so there was a reaction to, to when you talked about seeing a rat okay um, and he said oh I, it was ransacked you say uh uh, it was ransacked. I mean, ransacked. You say, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. That's that 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 doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Um, but if he's missing, look, my my guess is that he simply traveled to the north, and uh, he's on his way to the council, which is what his his mission was. So I think you know if he's not there at his house, and you've already been there, 
um, then the only thing to do is is for you to travel as quickly as possible to the north and see if you can catch them. That, that would be the best course. That's what I recommend. Uh, guys, uh, I need to, to go, actually. Oh, it's so. 11. Sorry, right. guys. Yeah, uh, lost track. It's a bit late. Okay. Um, thanks, thanks for the yeah. play, Richard. Thanks, I Richard, apologize for, for not yeah. speaking much, All right, you guys. thanks for being character. <laughs> we'll pick this up later. Okay. okay. Yeah, See you soon, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you next session. Bye. Bye.